So let's bring in Jeffrey Schwab, senior attorney for the Liberty Justice Center that filed the lawsuit on behalf of Chicago Public Schools parents against the teachers union. Jeffrey, thank you for being here. Um, Five billion dollars went to the state of Illinois for basic common sense safety measures that uh, we just heard the union president talking about. Um, let, let's play this. Let, let's play this parent. This is a Chicago parent who is on the side of the teachers union, and then we'll get your response. I have a, a kindergarten and a, a first grader. First grader does not attend school. Uh, medical reasons. Since 2019, since COVID started, um, it's been a hard situation. My, my five-year-old, she's the one that goes in person, and I do not think it's the safest place to send her. I really think students should be virtual. All right, so that's uh, both sides of the story, from our reporter Garrett Tenney and from, uh, from that woman who you just heard from. What do you say? Well, uh, in this case, we filed a lawsuit because the CTU has unilaterally decided for all 340,000 kids in Chicago that they can't go to school. And so what we're saying is you don't have that option. Let, uh, let the people decide. Let the parents have the input. Let teachers have input. And let the school district decide how it wants to handle it. The schools can decide on an individual basis if they want to. Parents can decide on an individual basis, but the union can't decide for everybody. Who's the boss, you know, who's the boss here? So, so they're saying, we're not striking. We just won't go to work. And then Lori Lightfoot, the mayor, says, you know, you, you could be fired if you don't show up. So who's going to actually push that, you know, when push comes to shove? Who's going who's gonna to take it to that level? Well, that's why we filed this lawsuit, because the law and the contract are clear that the union can't go on strike. And, and the problem is that nobody is enforcing the law or the yeah. contract against the union. So that's why our parents, our seven parents of CPS kids, have stepped up and they've said enough is enough. Over the last year and a half, the union has threatened to strike or engaged in strikes, and now it's doing it again. It's keeping kids out of school. It's, it's unilaterally deciding for everybody what they want without parent input, without student input, without but CPS. Do you have any indication really from the from the mayor that she's actually going to going to follow through and fire these teachers for not showing up at work? Well, no. And in fact, the union or the, the CPS and the mayor have had plenty of opportunities to try to stop the union from engaging in this illegal strike tactic. And they haven't over the last year and a half. That's why we've had to file this lawsuit. All right. So I, I looked it up today. Contractually, the teachers in Chicago have to teach they have to have 176 days of teaching. So are, is there is part of this negotiation and discussion, they've now lost four of those, right? So when do they plan to make those up? And will they be held to that? Because that's what these students, that's the promise that we make to these students, 176 days of education. Yes, and, and I hope that they will have to make these days up. But in the meantime, the kids are at home and they're not learning. Uh, they've already been at home for the two-week break. That's been basically extended for another week. And uh, they need to be back in school. They, as your last segment shows, they need to see their friends and, and to socialize and to be with other kids. And they're not, they're not getting that opportunity because CTU has taken the law into their own hands. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't understand how this happens. Like, you know, in most cases, if you don't show up for your job over a certain period of time, you're going to get fired. So I, I think everybody watches this, and they know the rules that apply for the rest of the, of the country, and they don't understand what's going on. And people can say, we hope, you can say, we hope that they're going to make up these days. But, you know, either they have to get 176 days of education or they don't. It seems like there's just so much wiggle room, and it seems like the students are the ones who are really getting hurt, like that woman yelling uh, at the people on the side of the street expressed. Um, so we'll follow this case, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, Jeffrey Schwab, thank you very much. Good to have you here.